and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, you guys remember back when I had this, this four different manufacturers of video glasses and all four failed? I mean, every manufacturer failed. Well, one of these guys actually got back with me uh, maybe like a week ago or so and asked me, uh, because I gave him a one-star rating along with the other three manufacturers, and at least this one was conscientious enough to get back with the purchaser, and it's from Tiantin, uh, and he is a Amazon seller, and uh, he was real concerned about what happened, and they said they have an upgraded version of these glasses, and if I would like to uh, review those. Uh, so, you know, I told him, yeah, no problem. I says, just drop them in the mail and, and I'll be more than happy to give them a, a fair review. My reviews will be truthful regardless if I pay for them or I don't pay for the item. Um, and anyway, they sent them. Uh, these are the ones that just came down. Uh, very lightweight and they fit on the head. Really, really comfortable. Uh, I kind of like these already. Now, I've done just a couple of walk-arounds with these. Uh, I did find a problem that a U3 card doesn't work. Maybe it was my U3 card, I don't know. But I put in a U1 card uh, and it worked fine. So maybe that's what it is, I don't know. Uh, there was nothing in their uh, instruction manual that explained what card you can and cannot use. Uh, but the ScanDisk U3 Extreme, uh, you can't use it and they will accept up to 32 gigs in the card. What I like about this particular pair of video sunglasses is that they do have an SD card slot. They don't have internal memory. The ones with internal memory, I've had nothing but problems with iView and stuff like that. I mean, horrible, horrible experiences. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is walk you through the operations of this set of glasses, how it works and how you turn it on off and the different modes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, very simple to do, which I'm very happy about. And then we're gonna do a field test on water. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take kayak out and test them like I would uh, any point of view or POV camera. Now, the one thing I know it doesn't have is image stabilization. Uh, I've used the only one that has image stabilization and if you can get them to work, I guess it's okay, I don't know. But these glasses do not have image stabilization, so you have to practice the keep your head straight and move everything slow type routine. But I have high hopes for this. Like I said, I did a couple of practice clips out here, and the colors are very true. Uh, I did take a look into the sky, and it matched the sky color. These are not good for low light. It's a fact. They do not do well in low light conditions. But this is more of... Uh, go out to the beach, have fun, uh, and, and you know, get some nice video clips and stuff like that. So, all right, you get a nice user manual here that gives you instructions on how to use the unit. Um, and it does say that it's recommended to use a 32 gig card. It's not included. They actually show you the proper way of inserting it. Uh, but what they didn't say in here is that a U3 won't work. But no big deal. I had a U1 and everything was fine. So let's open them up and see what we got here. Comes with your standard cable and the glasses themselves. Wow, they're stylish looking. I got to admit that. They are very stylish looking uh, from the other ones. Got a good case, comes with a. Uh, a lens clean cloth, uh, but as you can see, they're very stylish. It's a one button operation with two modes. And we're gonna get into the modes right now. Uh, you have two modes, you have photo mode and a video mode. And you wanna go to the forward mode, you click it, the switch back. You wanna go to the video mode, you click it forward. Power button, this is a single power button operation system. You hold it. There'll be a vibration and a blue light goes into standby. And then when you're ready to record, you tap it and you can see it's blinking. And we are now recording. 
Over here is the reset button if you want to change all the settings back to factory settings. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was to get rid of the date stamp. I don't like date stamps on any of my videos. It's very easy to do. Uh, you go into the date stamp uh, file and change Y to N, and the problem goes away. The glasses themselves are actually uh, very nice, very nicely put together. The camera itself is very well hidden, as you can see here. Uh, very nice. So what we're going to do is actually do a field test um, out on the kayak, and we're going to go test these things and see how they do, and I hope that uh, the fifth chime is a charm. <laughs> but I want to thank, uh, and these came from, and I think it's Tiatin, but it's T-I-A-N-T-I-N. -I, -I, I hope I enunciated that correctly. That really cares about their product and their reviews. Uh, I did not pay for these. I'm going to tell you that straight up. But that will not change in any way, shape, or form this review. If they work, they work. If they fail, I'll tell you they fail and where they fail. So let's go ahead and uh, get these field tested and on the water. Well, here we go, guys. Uh, this is the last field test of these glasses. And so far, uh, they are performing extremely well. We are out here at our local lake. We're going to take them out on uh, Lake Davenport for a little while. And trust me, it is cold this morning. I woke up, it was 34 degrees, frost everywhere. This is Florida. What the heck? Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to go and see how these glasses perform out on the water. So, hey, we'll be back in a minute. Well, good morning, all. Hey, uh, we are out here doing the final field test on these glasses. Uh, they're recording right now, actually, and I want to see uh, basically how they do with color and brightness and operational stuff and stuff like that. We are out here at Old Lake Davenport, guys, and, and we are doing the final test on these glasses, as you can see here. Uh, the coloration and stuff like that is really phenomenal. Let me check these, make sure we're recording fine. Yep. Got a little blue light on the side. The only thing that I would put is a, it's just a design negative and it's not a negative. If they could put kind of a light right up here behind it, you can actually see uh, that it's recording. You just can't pick it up. It's just a hair too far back for your peripheral vision to pick it up, but that's okay. Anyway, we're gonna continue our paddle here, guys, and uh, uh, run these through the final field test. And then we'll do a wrap up uh, on the patio. So, hey, we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, so what we're doing now is we're uh, just testing out the visual clarity and color of the video and testing the audio at the same time. These are POV glasses, guys, and that's point of view. Uh, when you use these, uh, remember to move very slowly when you're doing a pan. If you do like that, it'll drive your, your viewers nuts. Uh, so kind of do your pan slow. Uh, you'll learn to use them. Uh, they're great. Uh, the audio is, is really outstanding and the, the color match is surprisingly good. Um, I wanted to test them on the water. Now, of course, they don't have image stabilization. Only one company that makes video glasses um, claims image stabilization at $200 a pair and I got one of those and it was iView and they failed. Uh, they wouldn't transfer the data uh, to the computer. So that was kind of a bad situation right out of the jump. And the one thing I didn't like about those also was they had internal memory and I don't like things with internal memory. Uh, these video glasses can take up to a 32 gig micro SD and I like that. I want to be able to pull the card out and uh, do what I'm going to do. Um, there is one text file that comes with it, and it will have a yes in the, and it's called time stamp or time text txt. Uh, if you don't want the timestamp on the bottom and all that kind of stuff, just edit that. Take the uh, Y to an N, save the file, and you're good to go. That's all you have to do. 
Uh, but anyway, you can see these glasses do extremely well. And uh, they record nice. Uh, they don't overheat. Anything like that. So I'm real pleased. We're getting into some wind up here. I want to see if the little microphone will, will pick up that wind. I'm not sure if it will or not. I'm in gator land right here. All right, nothing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're getting into some crosswinds up here. I want to see if the glasses pick up any wind noise. Now, the microphones are on the inside, so they shouldn't. But we're going to test that right now. So again, I won't know until I get into post-production and all that. Now, what I'm going to do when I get into post-production, guys, on this these clips here, I'm not going to edit anything. I'm not going to edit the color. I'm not going to edit the audio. It's going to be raw footage. And I may take a section if if there's uh, if there needs to be some LUT added or something like that. I'll take one of the sections and show it with LUT and without LUT. Uh, it's totally. You know, I won't know until I get into post-production. So anyway, guys, we're going to continue our paddle, and I uh, hope you're enjoying this video. And But these glasses look like they're going to be a winner. So, hey, we'll be back in a minute. guys I just finished up doing some uh, photo mode work and uh, there's a little switch in the back you can switch from video to photo uh, photo you push to the back and for video mode you push the switch forward and then use the uh, on off activation button and all that kind of stuff to uh, take your photos you'll hear and feel a small vibration when the picture's taken it'll go bzz, bzz, like that when you turn the glasses on, you hold it uh, for maybe one or two seconds, and then you'll feel a vibration. Uh, then it's on standby. Then for you to start recording, uh, hit the uh, start button, and you'll see the blue light flash three times, and then it'll start a pulsating blink. That's when you are recording. To shut it off, you hit that same on-off button, uh, you hold that it'll vibrate and go back into standby mode if you hold for about three seconds the button then you'll shut the camera system off uh, it's that simple it's really easy to do uh, you can see it's a beautiful day out but it is cold trust me uh, I got up this morning it was 34 degrees and this is Florida and we had frost everywhere my car was was covered with frost uh, that was I mean this is Florida come on guys but anyway right now it's about 44 degrees something like that and uh, I almost didn't come out but I know with the Sun up like it is over here um, it makes the kayaking not so cold as long as there's no winds and the winds are picking up now they were in the forecast so I'm about ready to turn this thing around and start heading back in so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'm going to start heading back. But you can see the coloration, the video quality, and stuff like that of these glasses. Uh, they work extremely well, and i got to admit that the sunglasses themselves actually are really good. I like the idea that it's not 100% polarized because I can see the screen of my uh my iPhone and stuff like that. With some polarization, it wipes the screen out, and you can't you can't operate uh, this here is kind of a partial and uh, it works out really well for me so anyway hey we're going to continue our paddle and uh, we'll be back in a bit hi guys we are finishing up out here on the field test you can see the glasses up here uh, they're very stylish they work very well uh, I had no incidents of any kind with the glasses now again I don't know what the uh, the video quality is going to be on today's run and we'll find that out in post-production here pretty soon and get this out and up for you to view uh, but Tiatin is a uh, supplier for Amazon and uh, 
he had sent me one of the four manufactured glasses that failed. And he reached out to me and said, hey, Dale, uh, could you take another look at this? We have an upgraded version. He sent these out to me, and I'll tell you what, uh, they work great. Uh, no problems, no problem, actually, no problems of any kind. It just functioned well. Come in, I put the card in it. Uh, just changed the uh, time text from Y to N, because I didn't want time text or time stamps on the bottom. Uh, operationally, it's real simple. Uh, you have a mode switch in the back, said video photo and then your operational button in the forward and it has a blue indicator light on the inside that tells you uh, when you're recording it'll pulsate like this and uh, when you take a photo you'll get a quick vibration it'll go doot, doot, like that so it's really really cool they work well so we'll do the wrap up once we get back onto the patio but uh, hey we'll be back in a bit well, you guys, we're going to wrap it up on the uh, review of the YJ04 video glasses. Uh, the supplier is Teotin uh, from Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description for this particular model. These work. I mean, these really work. The color and video quality is outstanding, and the audio is great. You won't have any problems with this. Easy operation, 32 gig, external memory. I like that idea. So, hey you got to get out check these out if you're in the market for a good pair of video glasses that uh, will really work for you these are the ones again yj04s is the model number i'll put the link in the description we'll see you on the next one